to New Gordon Best are just stunned at this sudden loss. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson continues our team coverage tonight. A somber day here in Glendale. This is where Daryl Gordon lived with his wife and raised a family. It's where he gave so much of himself, whether it was mowing a neighbor's lawn or shoveling snow. As one friend put it, he was the mayor of his neighborhood. Inside the friendly stop, eyes swollen with tears. As Daryl Gordon's friends listened to the last song he played on the jukebox two days ago, Tony White was with Daryl Tuesday. So we come in and then we start, him and I started doing a battle on the R&B, okay? And I was like, guess this song, you know? And I guess his song, he guessed my song. Friendly banter kept everyone laughing. Daryl's magnetic personality united his Glendale neighborhood. He just exuded helpfulness, um, generosity, goodness. He would rally everybody together all the time. It didn't matter how old, how young, how many kids you had. He wanted everybody at his barbecue. A barbecue guru and a father figure to many. He just knew people who were in need, single women, uh, people who have lost people, and he always made sure that everybody was okay. He, he was the kind of uh, person you would want as a friend. In Daryl's honor, flags throughout Glendale will remain lowered at half staff for the next three days. We are tight knit and, uh, and we will miss Daryl. Neighbors will mourn. I've never met a more amazing man. And they also promise to be there for Daryl's family in the selfless way Daryl's been there for the community he lived in and loved. He was an angel from God. And I, the only way I can reconcile this is that God wanted his angel back. And while there were quite a few tears shed in here today, there was also some laughter. Some of the employees were just talking about having an R&B party to celebrate Daryl's life. In Glendale, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.